What I do for a living, I wouldn't change at all. I'm always thankful. Every workday I get to go and experience the vitality of a classroom. Teaching is a big part of my life, and Saturday mornings, well, they're a time to reflect on the victories and the disasters of the past week. Walking these community trails helps put life in better perspective. It grants opportunities to think and to contemplate, and there's no better remedy than the outdoors. I have some friends who complain about their jobs. Sure, I, I have those days too. But they become increasingly conscious of the fact that their jobs are joyless, and their duty is to make someone else a little better off. As a teacher, I've never grown disillusioned with my career. When I'm out breathing the air, I often reflect what it means to be a teacher. I'm on the ground floor of making a difference, playing an active role in helping young people develop academically and socially and emotionally. I suppose teachers are in the business of making other people better off too, but in our case, we help the next generation prosper with ideas, and confidence, and enthusiasm, and skills that, well, we hope will make the world a better place. Saturday mornings gives me time to ponder about how my students inspire me, how their own challenges and perspectives drive so much of their thoughts and actions how their unbridled enthusiasm fills our classes with verve and liveliness. The relationships we build and those memories we share, and for those moments when they finally get it, whatever it is, well, that's a feeling that's hard to describe. Knowing your stuff is just the beginning of teaching. We have to turn it into learning that is both accessible and engaging for every student. And when learning doesn't happen for some, we have to figure out why and come up with a new plan and repeat it until one works for every student. Out where it's quiet, where there's just you and nature, I'm reminded why I teach. For some students, I will be the only person who believes in them. For others, I'm the only one to encourage them, to help them believe in themselves, and to get them excited about learning. When a student asks me a question I can't answer right on the spot, well, that means I need to learn a little more too. I guess I teach because nothing else is as challenging or as rewarding. Something goes wrong every day in my classroom. Yes, it's not perfect. And there's so much to think about, so much to consider, that I can only attend to a few issues at a time. But that's the beauty of the classroom too. It's relentless and persistent. The classroom isn't just your best days. It's all of them. Teaching doesn't provide you timeouts or slowdowns or pauses. The clock is always running. In moments of despair, I recount my victories. In moments of confidence, I dare to face my weaknesses. And when I tell others, friends and family and strangers, about my teaching, I do my meager best to categorize each strand of the tapestry, knowing all the while that no dialogue is ever quite complete and every student, as quirky as they are at times, is always worthy of my time and attention. Thank goodness for Saturday mornings.